Hey everyone, I'm doing a video today on how I make bone broth. This was a requested video and so I usually do chicken bone broth. I've also done beef in the past, uh, but beef you have to find good uh, marrow bones and neck and all of those different things. Um, chicken is just a little bit easier, a little bit more affordable, so that's what I do on a weekly basis. Uh, so I choose to use the crock pot for mine. I think it's way easier. Uh, I don't feel comfortable leaving a stock pot on the stove all night. Just not my thing. Um, so the crock pot is very easy. I feel safe with it for the most part and it just works really well. So the first thing you can do, um, I will list a couple of different recipes and ideas below. I kind of do my own thing. I kind of base it off of that, but um, this is just what I do. So. There are two ways to do your chicken. You can either roast it in the oven for an hour or you can cook it in the crock pot all day for like six to eight hours. I do the crock pot simply because it's easier. I tend to actually have a very plain taste. I have a very sensitive stomach and so I don't really like a lot of crazy flavors and stuff. So I personally don't add any seasonings or you know, really crazy stuff to my chicken. You're welcome to do that. I just personally don't do that. Um, I do add salt to my bone broth when I am heating it up. Um, so I do it on a cut by cut basis. I don't do anything in the actual um, pot, but you can do that too. chicken is almost done and cooking you want to be getting your veggies ready so you can get those thrown back in I personally only choose to do celery onion and carrot you can do other things too and you can do more of them I just keep it super basic so I got two stalks of celery there one onion and three carrots that's all I do so you just chop them up chop them up and throw them back in there so there are the roughly chopped veggies. You don't even need to take any of the skin off. I just wash them all and chop them up. They're all organic, so they're good to go. And then my chicken is just about done, so I'm gonna take it out of the pot. Um, I'm gonna leave all the grease and everything in the bottom. Just take the chicken out and take all of the meat off. Since it's been in there for seven hours, it's like really, really well done. Um, it just kind of falls apart <laughs> but um yeah I'm not gonna show you all this because this really creeps me out this is the part that I hate the most the snapping of the bones and the ugh, but um I do it anyway <laughs> and there you have it a de-meated deboned chicken <laughs> So this is just all of the pieces. You got like the chicken breast and just everything. I pull off as much as I can and all the bones go back in there. All the skin, the cartilage, all that stuff, it's in there. Um, and I don't mind if there's still some chicken on there. I don't sit there and pull off every little piece because that just helps with the flavor. So I'm totally fine with that. But the majority of the chicken is here and I go ahead and I just freeze this if we're not eating it for the meal. Um, and I shred a bit pieces of it and I give it to our cat and our daughter and meals and casseroles and you know it's just there whenever we need it. So there are all of our bones back in there. The grease and everything is in the bottom. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get all my veggies in. And then you're going to take, 
Um, if you're doing any extra, you can do like parsley and thyme and stuff. You put that in there as well, any herbs and spices. Um, then you're going to take your apple cider vinegar and do a tablespoon per pound or per carcass or whatever. So I'm just going to do one tablespoon. And then that is all that I add. I'm going to add water and that's pretty much it. I go ahead and use filtered water. And this is a six quart uh, crock pot. So you want to do it kind of up until an inch. You kind of want to make sure there's at least an inch here. Um, it doesn't really boil, it just simmers, but you don't want to overfill it too much. Okay, it is all ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So you can either do it manually or program it. That's up to you and your uh, machine. Um, so it needs to cook for at least 12 hours and you can do it longer than that as well. So some people just do overnight, you know, it just kind of depends on what works for you. You can't really overcook it as long as it's been more than 12 hours. So you're gonna do it on low. And there you go. So it's going to start simmering eventually and looking good.